Uh, so I'm going to get you through a quick little recap of all the tornadoes that have been confirmed. Now, six tornadoes that were confirmed in our area. The EF1 uh, near Detroit Beach, the EF2 Point Place. Also had that EF2 in Ottawa County, Huron County. That was the, one of the latest EF2s to be confirmed near Peru Township. Now, that's the one we had that tornado debris signature on radar during our coverage last night. And we're very confident that was, in fact, a tornado. Sandusky County as well, Rice Township EF1 and an EF0 in Bellevue. Now, things fairly quiet on top of the radar right now. A quick recap, though, of those storms. Really just an impressive, incredible supercell storm. It really rode that lake boundary, enhanced some of that spin and some of that shear that really prompted that tornado to last quite a good amount of time. Here's where that tornado actually hit point place. Uh, EF2 with winds to 130 miles per hour. Nice to find hook echo. And this was just a bit after 6 o'clock on Thursday evening. Then the tornado that happened in Ottawa County. If you're curious what a tornado looks like on radar, there's exactly where we caught it, just south of Oak Harbor. And uh, that one did do some considerable damage with winds up to 130 miles per hour. And how about this for a hook echo classic structure of what a tornadic supercell would look like that confirmed EF2 tornado in Huron County. Again, all that last night, things quiet now, but it's six confirmed tornadoes in northwest Ohio and in southern Michigan. Now, all quiet downtown Toledo, but it is a little bit hazy. We've got some of that wildfire smoke that is now uh, causing some poor air quality across the region. 63 degrees hazy north winds at five miles per hour. Most spots either upper 50s to near 60 degrees, and I do expect we'll have dry weather tonight. Not a thing on radar except the buggy mayflies. Once again, showing up big swarm of mayflies over the western basin of Lake Erie. So yesterday we were talking tornado, hail, storms. Tonight we've got the mayflies that are fluttering over the western shores of Lake Erie. Rest of tonight we're going to go dropping back into the low 60s. Highs tomorrow going to reach into the low 80s. It is going to be a dry, pleasant, beautiful Saturday. Right back up there Sunday. Start today in the 60s. We'll reach into the mid 80s as we get to Sunday afternoon. Your Saturday, mostly sunny skies, going to be dry and warmer. Extended 10-day forecast, including the weekend outlook. Low to mid 80s, dry, sunny conditions, both weekend days, including Father's Day. Enjoy that on Sunday, some outdoor patio or deck time. Mid 80s, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And then with dry conditions expected now most of next week, the heat's going to crank up upper 80s to near 90 degrees Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and into Sunday of next week. You know, when I was out there last night uh, covering the tornado, the mayor mentioned to me the um, Palm Sunday right. tornadoes. Yeah, we expected what occurred last night was actually the strongest tornado in the Toledo metro area, including Point Place, since 1965. Many of us, if you've grown up in this area, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Now, this video uh, was actually from Xenia, Ohio, the same event that occurred on that fateful April day, uh, 1965. We had an F4 tornado that came into the Toledo metro, resulted in multiple fatalities and some of the more significant damage that we've ever seen from a tornado that happened back in 1965. An F4 tornado is what it was.